when I st stood not too far from here about 30 years ago, I had these great expectations for what we were going to see that day and what we would be seeing in the years to come. After all, we were a spacefaring nation and there was nothing that was going to stop us. Part of our heritage had been Mercury, Gemini, Apollo, and the space shuttle was something new and amazing and held all kinds of promise. That was then, this is now. It's 30 years later, STS-135 is the final call for the space shuttle program. Four men and women are on their way for the adventure of a lifetime and the last of its kind. Where it goes from here, nobody really knows for certain. We have tremendous promise from the SpaceX program. Soyuz will be supplying ISS for the foreseeable future at upwards of $60 million per seat. And more important than anything else, we are for the first time in the history of the space program without a manned launch capability after 135 leaves the pad. It will also be the first time that we're going to lose the brain trust. Thousands of people will be laid off in the next couple of weeks. They will not be replaced. These are the folks with the innate knowledge of decades of innovation, of stick to and of making things work even when everybody else said, nah, not a chance. So we wish Atlantis a fond farewell. We have great hopes for the future, even though at this point it looks a little dark. We're hoping that the private space movement, born of XPRIZE, born of the initiative of so many Americans and so many people around the world, will finally show us a way to do something different than what we've done before. But for the moment, Atlantis is about to be on its way. The weather appears to be cooperating. And with luck, we will see the final glorious ascent of the space shuttle program, 30 years in the making. Seven, six, five, all three engines up and burning. Two, one, zero, and liftoff, the final liftoff of Atlantis. On the shoulders of the space shuttle, America will continue the dream. Roger roll, Atlantis. Houston now controlling the flight of Atlantis. The space shuttle spreads its wings one final time for the start of a sentimental journey into history. 24 seconds into the flight, roll program complete. Atlantis now heads down, wings level on the proper alignment for its eight and a half minute ride to orbit. Four and a half million pounds of hardware and humans taking aim on the International Space Station. seconds into the flight, the three liquid fuel main engines throttling back to 72% of rated performance in the bucket, reducing stress on the shuttle as it goes transonic for the final time. Engines now revving up, standing by for the throttle up call. Booster officer confirms staging a good solid rocket booster separation. Guidance now converging. The main engine steering the shuttle on a pinpoint path to its preliminary orbit. Two minutes, 20 seconds into the flight. Atlantis already traveling 3,200 miles an hour, 35 miles in altitude, 50 miles downrange. Booster officer confirms main engine cutoff. For the last time, the space shuttle's main engines have fallen silent as the shuttle slips into the final chapter of a storied 30-year adventure. Aero TV is brought to you by. If you own a Cirrus today or if you are considering the purchase of a new or used aircraft, consider this. Avidine, in conjunction with the country's leading Cirrus sales and maintenance facilities, has launched the G3R9 program that combines the purchase of a late model, low time Cirrus aircraft and the addition of the Avidine Integra Release 9 avionics suite for much less than you may have thought, and certainly much less than purchasing a brand new aircraft. G3R9. Combining the best airframe, best engine, and best avionics for the best value.